So yesterday I did finish Shenmue 3. Finally, finally I did finish the game. A game I was really anticipated for, a game that I backed, a game that I put faith into and it kinda delivered. But it wasn't perfect at all. It maddens me to be honest. Um, this game deserved more and uh, it's a shame that nobody <laughs> Sony they, they, they kind of used Yu Suzuki I mean they, they didn't even produce the game they, they, they used it for their show and they got lots of attention and they used it in their scheme to be like the company that does everything for the gamers but uh, fuck that they didn't help shit um, Deep Silver did help and Epic did help, but for the rest, nobody helped. It was all you, Suzuki, and all the fans like you and you and maybe even you and me. And heck, maybe I forgot about you as well, but it's all about we did it, kind of. He did it, but we, we kind of helped and we gave our support. I mean, you have to realize when the original game came out, it wasn't like the old school game and it wasn't like slow paced. It was like the first goddamn RPG adventure game, less fiddling with menus, screens and, and stuff like that and more gameplay. And this game really delivered this. QTEs were fantastic in the original two games and this game really fucking sucks. It, it doesn't even matter, you have to complete them or it just restarts over and over and over again and some animations are really a drag like when you pick up the apples in your hotel you, you have to fuck the whole animation apple per apple per apple over and over and over again it's really ugh, it's nerve-wracking I hate it still the game kinda delivered it really felt like Shamu, but it had so many fucking stupid faults that I you just can't recommend this game to anyone, because without the nostalgic love, this would be an awful game. Uh, let's be honest here, it's really not good. You're, you're better off playing the original twos then, because I really hate the idea, it's the same with Nintendo. You have always people complaining, oh Nintendo doesn't use high-end graphics and then you have those silly defenders, yeah but Nintendo never did that, they, they never went for graphics, fuck that, I made a special about that one, they used to do that and it's the same with Shenmue. This game wasn't about being old school, this game was about being the most modern game you had and its generation. This is like a missed opportunity. Normally Shamu 3 in our time would have been the best of the best that you could have gotten. For the graphics, for the gameplay, it wasn't necessary to implement the old, I don't know, the old things like we used to have. It's good that you had like skip time functions and stuff like that and now you could save everywhere. Those were added additions but hey fuck it's 2020 you know. It's normal that they are there. We shouldn't be happy about stuff that is normal. And what the fuck is it with the music in the game? It's like really playing from a CD player. It even ends and it fades out and then it starts over. It's really... Uh, it's such a shame. And after the music faded away, it just, well, it restarts. But what about the NPCs? NPCs in the second part of the game, they really, you can't interact with them. There's so much things missing that were in the original and at least I would have hoped that this game and it turned out beautiful, but it wasn't the same game. This was less of a game than the original two and that's really a shame. Now, that doesn't mean that part 4 has to be done this way. I really hope that Yu Suzuki tries to strike a deal with one with a developer and they can make a triple A title out of the fourth one. I fear this, that this won't be the case for the fourth one. He's like aiming for the fifth one to be triple A, like making a fourth one on the engine they have now, but this engine is fucking broken. 
the pop-up is really... You can't have shit like that. Stuff like this, it's really... I can't imagine to have stuff like this in our time now. It's really... it's saddening, to be honest. It was really slow. The story was like... Well, if you would compare this to the first two games, um, this would be like a four-hour segment of the original games. It was really a drag sometimes. The arcade games were really... Pff, I didn't even play them. I did play other games though, like with the ball machines, stuff like that, I could find amusing and entertaining. And character design, I didn't bother the funny looking characters, but so many things were missing and felt broken. Uh, I did play this on the PC, of course, in my opinion, it's not playable on the PlayStation 4. While my stance against Sony is not good because they used Yu Suzuki and Shenmue franchise to boost their show. It has been received by, with a huge success, but they didn't help financially. I, I never saw an ad from Sony for this game. It's really it's saddening to be honest. I, this hasn't been spoken about, but I think this truly is something. I mean, the fact that it's the main platform and it's barely playable on that platform that's really that's a sad thing the fighting mechanics really uh, I well they were kinda okay but really there were there was a lot of stuff missing in it and it didn't really bother me but the way every fight played out then bothered me it was so strangely constructed it's like you worked in different teams you had different teams working on the game it feels like they didn't really have contact with each other and it feels like fighting mechanics were made by those guys and this kind this mechanic of game was made by that guy and it was like there was no communication or something really something feels really odd about this game i do like the story and it really felt great at certain times but like when it's raining you don't see the rain it's really tiny you hear the rain but it's I think this game really is missed opportunity and I really hope that it won't take until the 5th because the 4th title will come but if those sales are poorly I think we can forget the 5th one. I mean I really I would have hoped that this game would show the world that it isn't all about the graphics but when you have the gameplay it's uh, that should be anything and like the QTEs the original game it was like the standard he, he practically invented the, the mechanic I, I could never succeed I always had to fail first to remember the button combination to make it successful and that's a shame in the original I like the idea when you fail the QTE the, the story continued, like you would drop on the ground, they would run away with your money. But this game is just like an ordinary game where you have QTE. <sighs> really, what's the point if you have to succeed anyways? If it's just a matter of remembering combination and pressing it like playing out the movie, you, you could just as well watch a movie. It takes out way a lot of the experiences. This is something I always hated with QTEs and other games. It's like, it's mandatory, you have to succeed and uh, Shamu that was different. If you succeeded, it was the better. If you failed, well, different things could happen in the story. and. That is what I loved about Shenmue, one of the many things. Like the fact that you had the feeling that the NPCs were living in the original one. In this game I never felt that, gonna be honest here. I never had the idea that those people were alive, that they had a thing going on. It's also pretty small in the end. It took me long to finish as well, that's not normal. In my opinion, the original two games should have been released like they they have been, but also an upgraded version. Like, I don't know, I would have loved with, if the Yakuza team would have done this with their engine and the original gameplay. That would have been great, of course, Yakuza series is very highly inspired on Shenmue, but things that bothered me in the Yakuza series first were the fact that 
When you went into a store, nothing was interactive, yet in Shenmue it was, in Yakuza it wasn't. Also, the arcade machines and the arcades in totality were way better in the original Shenmue's in comparison with the Yakuza game. Uh, in Yakuza, when you load up a game, an arcade game, you really load up a emulator that emulates the game and it, you get taken away from the game. But in, in Shenmue it was different. You had the animation of getting on on the machine like the bike or the car and then you zoom in to the screen and you have instantly the game there it was totally different and way better done but now we have a shamu that's like a high triple a triple a budget title or something and that's really ah, feels bad also the voice actor why do, do people really love him I mean he did a terrible job like, it was a terrible job in the original too as well, but it's like he he succeeded to be more terrible in these times. I, I don't get it. And he's so happy and fans are so happy that he, he has done it. I had to play this game in Japanese to make it, I don't know, to, to enjoy it. In the original game I had something, this feels like a badly done movie like we had in that time but we're, like I said, we're 20, 20 years later now. So, but about the good stuff, uh, well, it felt like Shamu. We did see Landy at the end, I even could fight a few minutes with him, but overall it, it was more, the original game felt more like dramatic. This game I didn't have the feeling that people could die. It was like kind of cartoony. Even the bad guys, they weren't really bad. They let you go and they say you to train better. So that's not really the behavior of a real bad guy, right? So this game felt kind of strange in that part as well. Maybe I'm really not that positive about this game and I don't care. This is the way how I feel and if I would give it a score, I would score it like probably 4 on 10 to be honest and for no nostalgic reasons maybe 6 on 10 but that's maximum is it really that bad nope it's not that bad but I'm just really harsh when it comes with with scores as a fan you should play it but as a non-fan well this is a missed opportunity to get all those new fans I wonder if there's anyone watching this are you a new fan I would like to know your, your thoughts and feeling about the game, so please leave this in the comments, that would be great. Alright, Grifter, signing off.